What is up everybody? Jay Nell here with another Minute Movie Review and next up The Wolverine directed by James Mangold and three, two, if you're a fan of the X-Men series you'll like this movie as well. I did. Hugh Jackman is huge in this movie. It really is his movie. His pecs are like a foot out. Jesus. He towers over everyone in this movie. It takes place a lot in uh, Tokyo. So he really looks like an extra human, you know what I mean? Because he's a mutant. There's not that many mutants in this movie, so it really makes him stand out. You get some backstory. He's also haunted by the demons, uh, especially Jean Grey, so it takes place after where the X-Men series left off. Um, it is offered in 3D, but I didn't see it in 3D, and I don't think you should. It takes away from some of the realness. Because of what's done to the Wolverine in this movie, he bleeds. He gets injured. Uh, there's an emotional roller coaster. He doesn't want to be the Wolverine anymore. The action scenes, of course, are great. There's not a lot of huge... Um, um, explosions with like cars flying through the air it's a lot of fight scenes fight choreography again Tokyo there's ninjas so it's again it's a lot more real I totally recommend it there is a scene after the credits so do not leave a very important scene about the future boom and I might have ended a second earlier I'm not quite sure there but <laughs> that's my review in a minute of the Wolverine directed by James Mangold and uh take care everyone goodbye